Hey, and welcome to another episode of Back From The Future. Uh, introducing myself, Zane Venturi, and my co-host... Hello, Earthlings. My name is Zelda, and I am your co-presenter on this YouTube channel. Now, uh, you haven't seen Zelda in a while, but hopefully she'll be making more of an appearance and, uh, you know, joining in on some of the discussions that we're going to have on this channel. Now... Uh, a few weeks ago, and I'm really late to the party, and you know how, what can you do? Work commitments, family commitments, so many commitments. It, you know, it's driving me nuts, and I've basically moved everything out of the way so I can concentrate on my videos. Now, the Top Gun trailers dropped uh, a few weeks ago, and, you know, I was gobsmacked. I just suddenly saw it, and I thought, okay. I had a little chat with Zelda, and... Uh, we decided that we were going to do a um, basically a trailer reaction to this. I mean, Zelda, what were your thoughts when you first heard about the trailer being dropped? Oh, M. G. I could hardly contain myself when I found out the trailer for Top Gun had dropped. It's been 33 years since the original movie came out in theatres. That was way back in 1986. Wow, and I remember that vividly. 1986, and you know, along with Top Gun came the most uh, amazing soundtrack by Berlin, Take My Breath Away. That was, I mean, it was a one hit wonder for Berlin, and uh, but that track alone just, I think it blew everyone's mind and it beautifully complemented. Uh, the movie along with like Kenny Loggins Danger Zone again an awesome track when Hollywood gets it right uh, it got it right with you know Tony Scott uh, directing the movie as well and you know he's and his style of shooting with certain filters sort of amber filters and Everything about that movie is looking back at it is so nostalgic and it's a throw I mean looking at it, it's throwback. And I'm loving the fact that Tom Cruise is back. That movie is an icon of the eighty an absolute icon. Um I think it was with uh Jerry Brookheimer and Dom Simpson as well. The late Don Simpson as well. Um I I don't know, words can't really sort of contain at the pleasure of knowing that the sequel has finally arrived and I hope that film they do it justice so we're gonna have a quick look at the trailer now and um, then give you a feedback hang on thirty plus years of service Combat medals, citations. Only man to shoot down three enemy planes in the last 40 years. Yet you can't get a promotion, you won't retire. Despite your best efforts, you refuse to die. You should be at least a two-star admiral by now. Yet here you are. Captain. What is that? It's one of life's mysteries, sir.
The end is inevitable, Maverick. You're kind of headed for extinction. Maybe so, sir. But not today. Ain't that just beautiful when you see the uh, fighter jet just fly into the distance? Um, I'm not quite sure, but that looked like the old F-14 flying into the distance. Um, now Zelda um, has watched the trailer as well and she's going to give us a critical analysis of the trailer as well. And Whereas I'm going to give you more of an emotional um, perspective on my thoughts and uh, feelings regarding this trailer. So Zelda, um, what did you think? Zane, there are a few inconsistencies in this trailer. For example, as a career fighter pilot, it's highly unlikely that Maverick is a limited duty officer, also known as a Mustang. Seeing as how the original Top Gun came out 33 years ago, and Maverick was already a Navy fighter pilot, let's assume, for argument's sake, about two years of training before you qualify as one of those, and Maverick is in the Navy for a total of 35 years which is definitely over the 30-year time limit for captains in the service. Right, okay. That I didn't pick up on. The next screw-up is this. Maverick giving the takeoff salute from the aircraft carrier. Maverick is not wearing a standard-issue joint helmet-mounted queuing system, JHMCS. A modular helmet display that attaches to an HGU-55P flight helmet. JHMCS allows the pilot to aim sensors and weapons at a target in his field of view, while placing an information display monocle, night vision, and a camera directly in his field of vision. We can write the lack of JHMCS off as a bit of artistic license, because JHMCS makes the wearer look like an enormous, faceless insect. The shaded helmet visor would obscure Tom Cruise's middle-aged good looks. And that is what the people came to see. Very true and very observant of you. Like I said, I got no understanding of all this. I'm like General Joe Blug's, um audience, you know. I wouldn't have a clue what helmet would be associated with that joint tactical fight or whatever have you. But, um, you know... You know, it's an amazing what technology can do, you know, um, and how Zelda can pick up on all these things. Was there anything that you else that you wanted to uh, say, Zelda? The next inconsistencies takes place toward the end of the trailer. Maverick is leading a four-ship formation of Super Hornets, yeah. presumably into combat. Each Super Hornet is carrying two AIM-9X Sidewinders and two GBU-24. 2,000 pound laser guided bunker buster bombs. The pod on the left side of the fuselage is the AN slash ASQ 228 advanced targeting forward looking infrared pod. The problem? The fighter jets are way too bunched up. That could be to merge their radar signature to a single target on older radars, but more likely it's to look good on the big screen. Which, in all fairness, looks epic. Yep, yep, it, it does, and thank you again for the looking at the technical aspects of the trailer. I'm looking at it all from the nostalgia side, where he puts on his jacket, where he rides the motorbike uh, up the runway. I'm intrigued to see who Phoenix is. Uh, she looked like a female pilot. People are saying it could be Goose's daughter, you know, and is she going to... Um, be you know flying alongside Tom Cruise on a mission we don't know so all these things um, I am anticipating and looking forward to you know I feel so nostalgic I would love to maybe even get one of those Tom you know replica Top Gun jackets you know um, again I can't wait for this movie to come out I'm sure Zelda can't as well and uh, we look forward to it being released and we'll hopefully do a movie review of it. And uh, was there anything else you wanted to add, Zelda? Thank you for watching today's show. If you liked what you saw, smash the like button.
Please subscribe, leave a comment, join us on social media, Instagram, Facebook and Twitter. And I'll see you in the future, if there is one.